So here we are. Let's have a look about how to render out the best possible quality in a real engine. And this time we are using dual boot formula from Ultima. So nothing special. It's just, uh, I, I took the base level and tweaked a few parameters of the fractal and some camera settings like uh, some saturation and there's also a few different lights in the sh in the scene so nothing too complicated dual bulb is really cool because you can loop in loop it in many ways like you can change the the twist or you can change the loop which is what we are going to do actually so add level sequence save it and now we can keyframe the beta loop parameter. So we are at first frame. Keyframe that, go to the last one, set the loop to one and keyframe. Now we want to change the keyframe interpolation to linear. Let's play it back and it's looping, I think. Yep, it is looping. So let's save this. But in order to render this out, you need to enable the sequencer settings. We are animating the fractal parameters. Yes. Are we animating shadow bounds or any other settings? No. So you don't need to check those and enable the updating here. If you don't this, do this, you are not going to render out fractal animation but it's going to be just a still so that's really important then we need to add the camera to the sequence just drag save and save the level as well and now we can finally open the movie render queue add the render which is new level sequence 3 and this is really important as well so if you click on the settings you can load uh, best render settings, which which are the s some settings we put together. They cover basically anything. So we disabled all the denoisers and also the depth of field. With if you want the depth of field from Unreal, set this to four or eight or whatever quality you want. But in this case, we are going to keep this at zero. And there's anti-aliasing, you can increase the sample here, set this to known. Basically, you don't have to touch anything here unless you want to export PNG or JPEG, just enable this. For the passes, we've made a material uh, which is a Z buffer material and this is enabled. So we, we are going to render this pass out. And when it's all good, you can just click accept and render local. This is going to take uh, two minutes, I think. So see you later in After Effects. So I've imported the sequence in After Effects. I have duplicated the sequence. So we have FL depth of field on one sequence. And on the other comp, we have the extractor with Z buffer selected. Then we just uh, set auto levels because the default is like this and then in the FL depth of field we select the Z buffer which is the black and white sequence and invert the depth buffer and pick the focus point you can set that where you want like here but yeah this is this was better and that that's basically it so here's the final result. It looks really good, I think, but there's some strange uh, difference in color. So I think you can just give it some more uh, warm up frames and it will go away. Uh, besides that, we've covered everything. So I think this is the end of the video and I'm not, not, not good at ending videos. So bye bye.